Hey you guys, it's Brit. Tonight we're here to talk about somebody that I've not discussed in a very long time on my channel, but we're going to talk about Micah and James Stoffer. There was a recent kind of re- I would say a reintroduction to the Stoffer family. It's because of this series that just premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival um, and there have been many articles come out about Micah and James because of this and I just wanted to talk for a few minutes. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so the article that I'm going to be referencing is from The Wrap, and of course I will link it down below, but it says an update on our family made its premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival as it follows YouTube subscribers' speculations around the disappearance of Micah and James Stoffer's four-year-old adopted son, H. And I don't use the child's name on my channel. I wish that was redacted in this article, but nevertheless, it continues and says the three-part series was directed by Rachel Mason and is executive produced by Max Heckman, Chad Mum, Mark W. Olson, Jennifer O'Connell, and Lizzie Fox. Here's everything you need to know about the series and the drama surrounding the once popular YouTube family. And I would consider anything related to the Stoffers. I, I don't look at that as drama. I understand what this article is trying to get across, but when we're talking about um, child abuse and child exploitation, that is far outside the realm of what I would consider drama. Just a side note. It says Vox Media Studios, an update on our family, which premiered at Tribeca on June 6, chronicles the scandals surrounding the Stoffer family and the sudden absence of their adopted son H in their YouTube videos. The three-part episode series will center on the skepticism from the couple's followers who believe they were concealing something about the four-year-old, whom they've since rehomed. Here is the official synopsis. Mike and James Stoffer were the picture of the 21st century American dream. Happy marriage, beautiful kids, and a self-built YouTube vlogging empire. At the center of it all was H, an adorable young boy they adopted from China. H was more than just their star, he was their son, until one day he wasn't. A provocative three-part series, an update on our family, exposes the hidden in plain sight, unregulated family vlogging industry. According to the trailer, the docu-series will feature the Stoffer's subscribers and local journalists who unpack the family's background and the incidents surrounding H's disappearance. There are no streaming details out just yet, but it made its debut at the film festival on June 6th. Mike and James Stoffer are a couple they used to share their personal lives on YouTube. Their parenting platform reached new heights mainly because of how much fans adored their adopted four-year-old son H who is from China and reportedly had has autism. Their channel subscribers became skeptical of the Stoffers when they noticed H was suddenly no longer being included in videos with their other four biological children over a span of two years after adopting him from China. The speculation developed into a full-on investigation in 2020 when James posted footage from inside his car on his maintenance YouTube channel, Stuffer Garage, where they saw H's car seat was no longer there. When people questioned H's whereabouts, the couple allegedly began deleting those specific comments, only increasing subscribers' concerns about the child's well-being. After some time passed, the Stoffers addressed the matter in a confessional video in which they stated they rehomed H with a family who could better care for him and his condition. We are privy to this case, and given the facts at hand, we feel it was the best decision for H, their attorney said in previous statements. In coming to know our clients, we know they are a loving family and are very caring parents and would do anything for their children. Since his adoption, they consulted with multiple professionals in the healthcare and educational arenas in order to provide H with the best possible treatment and care. Over time, the team of medical professionals advised our clients it might be best for H to be placed with another family. This is devastating news for any parent. I would, and I've already talked about this in detail, that's why I'm not gonna you know, go into every single thing, 
But the issue with the stoffers is that there was video evidence also of them not treating H very well. A lot of this was in video because Micah was vlogging so much back then that there were parts of vlogs that were clipped and literal abuse of H being published on YouTube. And I don't think that it was devastating to the stoffers because they offloaded him as if he was a piece of furniture and then got rid of any sign that he was ever in the home. And when people were concerned, instead of addressing it head on, they ran and they deleted comments like this article said, and they hid some more and they only addressed it once they felt like their YouTube family vlogging empire was on the chopping block. A lot of other creators do this as well. However, the situation with the stoffers reached an absolute boiling point before they would even consider addressing it. Micah and James were the first family vlogging channel that I ever covered because of the H situation. And if, if any of y'all have been around on my channel since then, um, let me know in the comments. I'm just curious. But it was just so heartbreaking and gut-wrenching to see what this child went through. And then the fact that he was just kind of, you know, sent on his way. And I hope what I would like to say at the end of this video is obviously, I hope that he is thriving and loved and in the absolute best home since leaving the Stoffers. Um, I know that there are some people that are curious about his whereabouts and maybe, you know, what he's doing, how is he, you know, doing, what are his parents like. Um, I I've never wanted to know where this child is because I think that that's just bizarre and weird. Um, but I do hope that everything works out for him. And I, I just, you know, I, I think of the stalker situation once in a while. And it just reminds me of how cruel some people can be. And it's just another example of never believe anything these family vloggers are putting out on their channels because things can literally look like the American dream, like the white picket fence and everything is matching and color coordinated. And, you know, I'm just vlogging and we're going to the park and we have new cars and everything's clean and tidy. Um, nothing is what it seems on social media. And I feel like the more picturesque things look, those are sometimes the homes, the families, the creators that are, um, you know, kind of hiding these dark secrets and they're not exposed until they are exposed. And sometimes it's addressed and sometimes it's not. But it's just another reminder of never compare yourself to what you see on these channels or from creators. Um, because if you are choosing to protect your child's privacy and you are um, you know, if your kids are loved and clothed and safe and all of the good things, that's a lot better than a lot of these influencers and what they're doing with their kids. Using their kids to build an empire so they can sit in a mansion and not work. That's it, you know? But I might do a part two. I'm going to continue to dig around, but I did want to talk about this because I received some questions over on Instagram. So that's what's going on with this Stoffer little three-part series that just premiered. And that is why they're being mentioned in many different uh, news articles right now. So that's what's going on, but that's going to be it for tonight. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.